Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, we are gonna be reviewing my new favorite car mount. And the reason I say that is because this one actually stays put. Sometimes I review car mounts and they work, but the brackets behind the cell phone mount that insert into your vent, etc. they break. They're not very powerful. They don't hold the phone up with the charging cable and the AUX cable. You can't flip it horizontal for YouTube videos or podcasts if you're watching them, which you shouldn't be doing while you're driving, but that's another story for another time. Anyway, this one is the first one that I completely love. And this is my newest one right here. Go to the car and show you. It does come with proper instructions. And the reason I love this so much is, let me show you a photo before we go to the car, is it has a very small brace right here. This clips onto your vent. This goes below it. It flips vertical or horizontal. This is what it looks like right there very strong, stays in place. Again, I've used this and I'm very happy with it. I will show you all the pros and cons. Let's go downstairs. Okay, this is what the mount looks like in the car. That is my S8 Plus. Again, the biggest Samsung Galaxy right there. You actually flip it around as, as we can see, it kind of blends in with the vent here, but this is the little piece I was talking about that lays right on top of this piece of plastic does not cover up my CD player. This is a great mount. I have it connected into the top little vent piece right here. And as we can see, you have this little dial system right here to tighten up the pivot ball. And then you have this right here that tightens up this right here to clamp onto your vent. And this is just for added support right here. This is the ticket. This is a great design because normally with phones, charging cables, etc., it just drops on you. It starts falling down, etc. So as we can see right here, this mount is in vertical mode right here, right? Well, all of a sudden, boom, we're in YouTube state. Check that out. Boom, back up. And what's cool about this too is that even though it's tightened, the ball still swivels nicely. It does not shake. Speed bumps, it doesn't go like ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum So what's nice is that you can angle this for Uber, right? You can have it dead on if you have passengers in the back. You guys are watching a video. Bring it up, bring it more towards your face for navigation, directions, etc., which is absolutely fantastic right there. Now, let me go ahead and show you here. So we have the AUX cable plugged in. This is how I listen to music right here. It does have some feet right here on the bottom here and here, right here and here, that gives the phone support on the bottom. And then obviously you have your squeeze in right here. Now right here on the side, there's a little tab and that releases the clamp right here. You remove your phone, you put it back on, the bottom supports there. You lock it into place and it stays put. Now here we are with my Type-C port inserted with my AUX cable. Stays fine. You rotate it like this and bada bing, bada boom. It is not flapping down. Everything is looking good back here still as well. A great, great mount. Obviously I'm filming with my S110. All these links are below, like all my videos. All the links are below in the description box of the video for this exact same car mount. Now, with that, I do have to talk about one con. This might be different with your phone. It depends upon the size of the phone. The only con that I have is when I'm text messaging. And let me go to a random text message for security purposes. Let me show you here. So I go to text and obviously when you're driving, it's easier to obviously just push one button or if you're at a stoplight, again, don't break the law, be very careful. The only problem though that I'm having is my speech keyboard button is right here. So it's hard for me to hit that right there as my finger, and I'm sorry the white balance messes it up a little bit here, but it's hard for me to get to that speech button right there with my finger. Now what I've actually done is I've actually raised it up a little bit in the phone holster. Obviously that raises it up off the feet, but it still holds because that's a powerful holder right there. And then you go back to your message and now 
my speech button works just fine because it is outside of this little side holder here. That is the only con that I've experienced with the holder. Other than that, a fantastic car holder, guys. You're gonna love it. Again, look in the description box below for that link. I hope the video has helped you guys make an informed decision. Definitely pick one up for yourself. You will not regret getting this one. It's a lot more, less intrusive than a suction cup one that comes down all the way in a big arc or whatever. Forget these other ones that just have one little slip on right to your vent. They're gonna fall off, they're gonna break. This is a great one with that extra third brace down right here. This is the ticket. All right guys, you guys have a great day. I'll see you on the next review. My name's Chris, bye bye for now.